Hey, ¿qué pasa? Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm Ed Motions, and today I want to show you how to do this really cool cloud looking text. But before, why don't you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell? I'm gonna make a T just because I like how it looks, but you can do this with any other letter. I want it a bit thicker, so I'm gonna make it bold. Let me center it in the composition. Right, we don't really need the text layer. I'm gonna make a shape layer out of this. Right click on the text layer, create, create shapes from text, and delete. I'm gonna use the shapes stroke to give this a cloudy look. I'm gonna make the stroke the color of the fill. Now I'm going to increase the stroke width and make the lines cap and join round. And now, I'm gonna create some dashes. Click the plus sign twice, so you get the gap sizes too. Set the dash size to zero. The idea here is to play with the gap size and the strokes width until we are happy with the look of the bumps surrounding the letter. Let's give some movement to this cloud. I'm gonna animate the dashes offset, and for that I'm going to add a really simple expression. Time multiplied by 20. The offset will continue increasing during the whole scene, without us having to worry about it. Animating the stroke has created an ugly flicker in one of the vertices. This has an easy fix. Simply go to the vertex and round it with the pen tool. Let me add a couple of more details. I'm going to create an ellipse at the top of the T, just for decoration. Making the shape of the letter a little bit more irregular will give it a slightly better organic look. I'll just copy the previous stroke to the new ellipse. And it looks like we're gonna need to work on this one too. Best way to do this, isolate the ellipse. One by one, increase or decrease the gap size until it stops flickering. Just like this. One more lips. I'll give it a slightly different size. And also decrease the bump size. I'm gonna make the T a little bit more irregular. Nice! We're almost there guys, let's add some shading. I've pre-composed the T, but there's no need for you to do it, I just did it because I needed it for a little surprise, uh, you'll see at the end. I'm going to use the shape we did as a mat, and use the shape layer to set the color and shading. So I'm gonna set the color of the cloud in this layer, I'll give it a dusk tone. And I'm gonna use two different layer styles to add volume to it. First, I'm gonna add an inner shadow, but instead of a shadow, it's gonna be a shine. I'm gonna set this to overlay, and I'm gonna turn it white. This is supposed to be the sun reflecting on the cloud, so aim it to the light source. Actually, I'm gonna make this a light yellow because it's supposed to be dusk and the light gets yellow when the sun's setting. Next, I'm gonna add an inner glow. And this time, instead of being a glow, it's gonna be a shadow. I'm making it dark orange and fading it a bit. And I'm going to change the source to center. Let me play a bit with the smoothing and with the color. And I'm gonna add some noise too. 
I feel like the sun is not shining enough, so what I'm gonna do is change in the inner shadows blending mode to hard light. No, not enough. Vivid light? Yes, I like this. Oh, <laughs> that was cool. And that was also the reason why I pre-composed the T. But if you want to know how to do this, you're gonna have to wait for my next video. Thank you very very much for watching this video and as always, please if you liked it, subscribe, hit the bell, goodbye.